You're going to learn how to make this Google Sheets income and expense tracker in less than 30 minutes. Once you've made it, you can easily log your income and expenses over time. Then all you have to do is adjust the year and month on the dashboard and a summary of all your income and spending calculates automatically. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to build this template step by step. To start, I recommend you download the start file that I've prepared for you in the description. The start file contains all of the formatting and sample data already added for you. Now, if you don't want to use the start file, then just open a blank spreadsheet and enter the values that you see here into the corresponding cells. Either way, once you've got the start file or you've added the data to your own spreadsheet, the first thing that I want you to do is move to the income tab. The first thing we'll do here is add drop down menus to the category column that will make it easy to select a specific category. Start by clicking in this box, which is called the name box, and type in B2 through B and press enter. This will select all of column B starting from cell B2. With these cells selected, go to data, data validation, click add rule, for the criteria, select drop down from a range, click the select data range button here, move to the dashboard page, select the income category list, and click OK. Then under advanced options, select the display style you want, I like the arrow style, and click done. Now if you move back to the income tab, you should have drop down menus in the income column. Let's do the same thing with the expense tab. Click in the name box, type in B2 through B, press enter. Then under data validation rules, click add a rule. Under criteria, select drop down from a range. Click the select data range button. Move to the dashboard page, select the expense category list and click OK. Then under advanced options, select the display style you want and click done. Back on the expense tab, you should now have drop downs in the category column. Awesome. Okie dokie. Now we're going to create six range names that will help us write our formulas here in a little bit. Range names are basically specific names that you assign to specific ranges to make those ranges easier to reference from anywhere in your spreadsheet. Plus, range names give your formulas more context and make them easier to read. So to create these range names, move to the Income tab, go to Data, Named Ranges, click Add a Range, make the name Income Date with no spaces because range names cannot have spaces, then change the range to A2 through A, then click Done. Click Add a Range again, make the name Income Category, change the range to B2 through B, click Done, click Add a Range again, make the name Income Amount, change the range to D2 through D, and click Done. Move to the Expense tab, Click Add a Range, make the name Expense Date, change the range to A2 through A, click Done, click Add a Range again, make the name Expense Category, change the range to B2 through B, click Done, click Add a Range again, make the name Expense Amount, change the range to D2 through D, and click Done. You should now have six range names listed here. Close the range names window, and move to the Dashboard tab. The first thing we'll do here is add a drop-down menu to the month selection in cell F2. So select F2, and go to Data, Data Validation. Click Add Rule, select drop down from a range, then select the month options in H5 through H17. 
Then under Advanced Options, select the Display Style and click Done. Go ahead and select a month from the list. Now we're going to calculate the income and expense totals for the months over in this table. So start in cell J5 and enter the formula that you see here. So how does this formula work? This formula uses the SUMIFS function to add the income amounts where the month number matches the value in I5 and the year matches the year value in cell C2. And note that the C2 reference is an absolute reference because of the dollar signs. This will keep the reference from changing whenever we copy the formula down for the other months. Now let's take a closer look at these two parts of the formula. This part uses the month function to calculate the month number for each date on the income tab. Now the month function is only designed to work with one value at a time. So we need the array formula function to force the month function to work on the whole range of dates instead of just one date. Now how about this part of the formula? Here, the year function calculates the year of each date in the range, and again we need the array formula function to force the year function to work with the whole range instead of just a single value. And that is basically how the whole formula works. Once you have it working, use the blue dot here, which is called the fill handle, to copy the formula down for each month. Next, select cell K5 and enter this formula. This formula works just like the previous one. The only difference this time is that you're referencing the amounts and dates from the expense tab instead of the income tab. And once you have it working, copy the formula down with the fill handle. Next, select cell J17 and enter the following. Equals sum function J5 through J16, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula adds up all the numbers in the income column, and in cell K17, use the sum function once more to add up the expense numbers. Okie dokie, now for the income and expense totals here. Select cell C4 and enter this formula. Here, we're using the XLOOKUP function to look at the selected month in cell F2. Find that value among the month list in H5 through H17, and then return the corresponding income number. Next, select cell F4 and enter this formula. Here, we use the XLOOKUP function to return the corresponding expense value this time based on the selected month value. Okie dokie, now to calculate the totals for the income categories. Start in cell C7 and enter this formula. You'll notice that the formula is broken up into three lines, and to add line breaks to your formula when you're writing it, all you have to do is press Alt Enter. So how does this formula work? To start, the IF function checks to see if the selected month value in cell F2 is equal to all. If so, then the first SUMIFS function will calculate. Otherwise, the second SUMIFS function will calculate. So now, let's look at the first SUMIFS function. This function adds the income amounts where the dates match the date in cell C2 and the categories match the category in cell B7. And notice that the C2 reference is an absolute reference, so it won't change whenever we copy the formula down. But the B7 reference will change since there aren't any dollar signs. And this is what you want because you want to reference each category in the list. It's also important to note that the array formula function is used here to force the year function to operate on the entire income date range. Now, what about the second SUMIFS function? Once again, it adds the income amounts where the years match the year in C2 and the categories match the value in B7. However, there is a third criteria as well with these last two arguments. 
the xmatch function searches for the month value from F2 among the month list in H5 through H16, and it returns the position which is equal to the month number. Then the sumis function checks this last criteria by comparing the month numbers from the date range to the month number of the selected month. And that is how the whole formula works. Once you have it working, use the fill handle to copy the formula down for the rest of the income category table. Next, select cell F7 and enter this formula. This formula works just like the previous one, the only difference being that we're referencing the expense data rather than the income data. And of course, once you have it, copy the formula down with the fill handle. Okie dokie, all we have to do now is create the final chart. Start by selecting H4 through H16, hold the control key, also select J4 through K16, then go to Insert, Chart. Move and reposition the chart to fit within the range M2 through U17. Then click the three dots in the top right corner and select Edit Chart. Under the Setup tab, for the chart type, select the Combo option. Move to the Customize tab, and under Chart Style, set the border color to None. Under Chart and Axis Titles, select Chart Title and remove the title. Then select Horizontal Axis Title and remove that title as well. Under Series, select Income, choose Columns for the type, set the fill color to light green, change the series to Expense, Choose Line for the type, set the line color to dark red, set the point size to 14, then set the line thickness to 0. Under Legend, change the font size to 18 and bold the font. Under Horizontal Axis, set the font size to 14 and bold the font. Under Vertical Axis, set the font size to 14 and you can change the number format to None to simplify the numbers. You can now close the Chart Editor panel, select columns H through K, right-click, and Hide. Finally, you've got a fully functioning income and expense tracker right in Google Sheets. Now, if you're looking for another fun build just like this one, I really recommend you check out this video next where I show you how to make this awesome net worth tracker step by step.